Hey YouTube, uh, just a quick video about the GAF Wi-Fi exhaust fan. I um, installed this last December uh, while we were doing uh, a major reinstallation job. I uh, installed foam board. Uh, we originally installed this fan for ice damming issues. Um, we have had ice damming issues in and out depending on the snow load on the house. We also removed the skylight which was right there as well as insulated and un, uh, a covered deck which extends 13 feet out from the house. Um, as you can see we, we built a catwalk on top of it and, and insulated with R65. Um, finished it off with blow, uh, just re-blowing insulation but um, we just went through a really difficult winter this year in 2023 and it's worked out okay. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is I did go online uh, when I originally purchased this fan and um, I was having trouble connecting so I contacted GAF and um, it was a nightmare to try to set uh, the programming up but eventually customer service was able to help me out. This year in the middle of winter though uh, back in like January the fan just stopped responding. I would What I would do is I would turn the fan on when the temperatures in the on the roof exceeded 30 uh, I'm sorry in the attic exceeded 32 degrees based off the thermostat located in that little box um, if there was snow on the roof um, at one point it just wouldn't turn off so I just left it off I, we just got home and I, I shut it off um, what I had done though in the meantime is contacted GAF um, which they aren't very helpful they kind of have a monopoly on these things um, so Long story short, after much debate, um, they sent me another uh, um, controller, and this one I just I just ended up undoing what the electrician had originally wired. It's very simple installation, actually. Um, the roofers actually mounted it to the roof, um, so I just reinstalled it. And yeah, wow, it took a lot. Uh, it took about a half an hour of uh, trying to install this. I actually try to contact them, but they're closed on Saturdays. Today is Saturday. But I was actually able to get it to work. One of the things I found was if you are connected to a 5G router, um, then your phone, you, I believe that that's what the problem is. If you're hooked up to a, if your router is 5G, you're going to have to manually go in and connect to the non 5g portion of your router which is a 2.4 gigahertz and then hit the reset button on this little box there's a little reset button inside of here hold it down for uh, oh gosh it seems like 30 seconds and then once it stops flashing then you go through the prompts uh, the the they'll send you like an email you'll click on it and then you'll have to go into the it'll basically give you instructions but Anyways, I hope that helps you out. I was extremely frustrated with this, which is why I posted this. But um, fortunately for us, the combination of this, I really think it was mainly just the air sealing insulation and the foam board that helped us solve our uh, ice damming issues. I also installed a camera that I can view. Uh, it's just a Waze camera, so I can actually see if the ice damming is being under control. And then I installed a light, which, sorry, it's blinding you probably, but that's connected to a Wi-Fi so I can turn this light on and off along with this fan. So between all these three mitigants, um, I think we got it figured out. We also significantly upgraded our attic access. That's like an R30 or R40, and then we have another R20 on the actual lid underneath. So hopefully you find this helpful. If you do, um, let me know, or if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Bye.